Welcome back to Simply at Home. Uh, today I thought I will be posting a status update saying, oh, there's going to be no video, uh, you know, for whatever reason. Or post some old video and say, today there's not going to be a video or a podcast available. And then suddenly it struck me, something people have been asking me to do for a long time, is... Uh, why don't you just do an audio podcast? And um, as I was thinking what I'm going to do on my this week's Saturday podcast, I just realized it's Vinayaka Chaturthi. So when we begin something new, we've been told, or at least I've been told in my childhood, oh, whatever you start, you have to start with an invocation to Lord Ganesha. And he is the uh, obstacle remover, intelligent fellow, um, so many, so many, so many terminologies that is there in Sanskrit, which you cannot give the right translation. So here I am on this Vinayaka Chagarthi, starting an audio podcast Hopefully it continues and sustained with divine grace. I'm going to say a small story that I understand as I have grown to this age associated to Vinayaka Chaturthi and to the story of his, how he even got that elephant head. It's the first story we have all heard, is it not? At least most of us listening to this. So today, uh, the inspiration for me is thanks to a mother, and this mother with whom I happen to speak to, quite confused about what she is going to do, why should she take, and how something works better for somebody, and it's not happening, will it work best for me and my son too? And in the due course of the conversation, there's something that really struck me, which I kept repeating probably not just for her to myself as well as a mother, is you're doing wonderful. You have known what is right for your child. You know better what is right for your child. And your child is also listening to you, isn't it? It's a wonderful chemistry that nobody can understand. It's a wonderful combination that even the father doesn't understand. And so when I was just lying down right now thinking as to how I'm going to do this podcast. <laughs> um, so, to cut the long story short, um, Lord Ganesha is made from the dirt of the skin from Goddess Parvati. And she puts him at the door and says, I'm going to take a bath, my dear. Whoever comes... You will take care of them because I'm going to be bathing. So this little lad stands out there in a human form with a human face, standing there taking guard for his mother. So suddenly Lord Shiva comes in. He's the spouse. He's the husband. A child standing there. And he's like, who are you, boss? I'm, I'm going to meet my wife. What? This guy is like, no, 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 my mother's bathing. And the Lord Shiva doesn't understand. We know this story as to how the there's a fight between uh, father and son, both of them not knowing that they are father and son. So in between that, a subtle information that I happened to read a few years, a few months ago, is why you should not keep Ganesha's face outside your house, it seems will bring about trouble between father and son. So, could that be superstition? I have no idea. Do you want to give that a try to say father and son should fight? While we will leave that fighting needn't necessarily be a physical fight like this, maybe something else will come up. We don't know. So, coming back to the story. So, you know, Lord Shiva, he's anyways the destroyer. He happens to chop off this boy's head. And here comes the mother. So while we are talking of the story of Lord Ganesha, mother can move anything. And the mother can do wonders. 
if there's somebody who's going to put you down saying, oh, you know, you're just a mother, what motherly love you might even have, don't fall for a trap of any of such things, okay? Because there are millions and millions of stories to say what a mother can do. So here comes Ganesha again. Life is being given to him and that's when the power of the father comes. Parents are essential for children. So I have news for all of the young generation who are listening to this. If you are not ready for a long haul, if you are not ready together to be a parent, parents, and if you still have doubts within the each of you, please do not give birth to one. Because it is very important when you're bringing in a life Parenting is very important and it's not one person's job. It is not just one person to bring in that money, nor one person's job to give emotional security. Emotional security is where it starts from. So now Lord Shiva runs around, tries to figure out, okay, we know the story why we shouldn't put our head on the north to sleep, because he chops off an elephant's head and fixes and gives life. So, the masculine gender is giving, or masculine energy is life-giving, while the feminine energy ensures nurturing. So, mother ensures the son gets his life back. And when both of them were separately working on the child, we saw what a disaster it was, right? So, when they came together, and there's life again, what have we been taught? Oh, he is very intelligent. Oh, he takes care of his mother first. Oh, he is very earthly, etheric, you know, grounding. So anything to do with grounding first, you are expected to go to Lord Ganesha. So starting this podcast in the series saying, parenting is not about just one person saying, oh, I am the mother or somebody saying, oh, I am the father. Both of you are equally important in any Ganesha's life, in any child's life. And trust me, children, they will do anything for their parents, or oh, more specifically to the mother. So when a mother is trying to bring about a correction or a disciplining attitude or saying, this is the clothes you're going to wear or this is what you're going to eat, please understand they have an instinct between them Though the cord is cut, the invisible cord still exists. So, don't interfere. Well, you are not going to be Lord Shiva there, but to bring about life again. So, it's very important from this small, short story of how life comes back again and how a mother can ensure that the father comes into play or the husband comes into play. So it's always a joint effort. So a few things that I would like to say before saying Happy Ganesh Chaturthi to one and all of you. Each of you are intelligent. Each of you are beautiful. And each of you as a parent have a wonderful role to play. To see that intelligence, to see that divinity bloom from within your child. And at the same time, I want to close by saying to that mother, through this uh, podcast, you are strong and so is your gut intuition. Saying that signing off, this is Ramya. Stay safe, happy, healthy and joyful. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi. Bye-bye.